Hello guys, what's up? I'm Suruj from the SketchUp Arc Studio. I hope you'll be fine and good. Today we want to start some tutorial about SketchUp basic movements and copy or rotations. So let's get started and like and subscribe us. So I'm gonna download this character in here. I'm gonna start my job with the drawing a circle. For drawing a circle, I'm gonna click on the circle option in here, draw some stinker like that and now we have some circle in here. If I click on the paint bucket in here and we have some option that called the tenet info as you can see we have some details about the selections but now it's on the no selection. So when I click on these edges in here as you can see we have this number in the segments about 24 and you can increase it to the 48 so you have a smoother result in here. If you want to model some type of cylinder in the SketchUp, you can click on the push or pull option and extrude this face like that. Now you have some cylinder on your SketchUp. So I'm going to start with drawing a rectangle. I'm going to click on the rectangle in here. And now I want to extrude it a little bit, something like that. And now I want to click on it, select it and convert it to the uh, group. For the making some type of copy from objects, you must click on the move option in here, press control on your keyboard, and left click on your screen. So now you can move your object on the uh, green axis, red axis, or the uh, blue axis. I'm going to take some copies on the blue axis. For example, I want 5 boxes, so I'm going to type 4x in the box and press enter. As you can see now we have 5 boxes in here and I have these copies very well. So, if you want to rotate these type of items, you can select them, click on the rotate option and you can move your cursor on the box and make some rotation in here. If you want to change your rotation direction, you can change your cursor line and you can rotate them something like this. Very simple and easy. Or you can create some new shape with moving these tools in here. Very simple and easy. The last option that we called in the SketchUp is the bevel option. Bevel option is really useful in your 3D modelings. So I'm going to delete all of them. And now I only want to draw some type of box in here or something like the wall. And actually all of you will know this point. If you click on the push or pull, you have extrude option in the SketchUp. And if you click on the offset option, you will have some offset in this place. So I create this offset in here, something like that. And if you want to create some bevel from some face, you must select for your face at the first step and at the second step you must click on the move option but this time you must press alt on your keyboard and left click on your face as you can see now we have bevel option in here very simple and easy and just about that so you can convert it to the group and take some copy of it or you can explode it and convert it to the component and take a lots of copy of it like this so the difference is that when you have the group you can only act some type of changes on the one group but when you have some components if you click on it and change it all of them will change at the same time so i hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for your watching and goodbye.